How do the respiratory and circulatory systems work together? The respiratory system is a system for breathing, while the circulatory system is for blood circulation. These two systems work together to supply the body with oxygen and remove waste carbon dioxide from the body. Additionally, the respiratory and circulatory systems work closely together to maintain homeostasis or internal balance in the face of sudden change. Every time you exercise, your heart speeds up and breathes faster. Contrary, every time you lie down to rest or simply stand up, your heart slows down and breath is lower. You change your needs for oxygen and nutrients depending on your activity. Let us use this diagram to make it simpler. First, you breathe in. The nose traps germs in the air. The air moves to the pharynx and larynx, down through the trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, and alveoli. Alveoli, which are surrounded by capillaries, receive oxygen to pass to blood. Oxygen passes into the blood. Oxygen-rich blood moves towards the heart, enters the pulmonary veins, and moves to the left atrium. The mitral valve opens, allowing blood to flow into the left ventricle, which pumps out the oxygen-rich blood to the arta through the arctic valve. The arta, which is the main artery, transports blood away from the heart. The arteries will then deliver the oxygen-rich blood to different parts of your body. Through capillaries, oxygen and food nutrients pass to the cells. The cells use this oxygen and nutrients to function. After the cell use oxygen and nutrients, waste products such as carbon dioxide and water are released. This carbon dioxide enters the capillaries and is exchanged for oxygen. The dioxygenated blood or carbon dioxide-rich blood moves back to the heart through veins. The carbon dioxide-rich blood from the upper part of the body enters the superior vena cava, while the blood from the lower part of the body enters the inferior vena cava. The carbon dioxide-rich blood that enters both the superior and inferior vena cava goes into the right atrium. The tricuspid valve opens and the blood flows down the right ventricle, which pumps the blood out of the heart to the main pulmonary artery to the pulmonary valve. The carbon dioxide-rich blood moves towards the lungs. Inside the lungs, the alveoli receive carbon dioxide from the blood. The carbon dioxide moves from bronchioles to bronchi, flows up the trachea, and flows out the nose and mouth as you breathe out. That's how the respiratory and circulatory systems work closely together to provide oxygen and remove waste products like carbon dioxide in and out of your body. Let us sum up. As you inhale, the air with oxygen enters your nose and moves to the pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, and alveoli. The alveoli pass the oxygen to the blood. The oxygen-rich blood enters the left atrium and flows down to the left ventricle. The left ventricle pumps out oxygen-rich blood to the different parts of the body through the arteries. The cells use oxygen and as a result, Carbon dioxide is released. The carbon dioxide-rich blood moves back to the heart, enters the right atrium, and pumps back to the lungs. The alveoli receive carbon dioxide from the blood. The carbon dioxide moves up from the bronchioles to the bronchi and the trachea, and flows out of the nose as you exhale.